It's time once again for Uncle Matt's bedtime story. Hello, everybody. It's Uncle Matt, and I'm here to read you another bedtime story. And tonight's bedtime story is based on a series of stories from this book, Yertle the Turtle and Other Stories. And we are going to read another story by Dr. Seuss. And this story, well, first of all, this book was copyright in 1950, and it was renewed in 1986. All right. And this story is called The Big Brag by Dr. Seuss. Are you ready? Here we go. The rabbit felt mighty important that day. On top of the hill in the sun where he lay, he felt so important up there on that hill that he started in bragging as animals will, and he boasted out loud as he threw out his chest. Of all the beasts in the world, I am the best. On land and on sea, even up in the sky, no animal lives who is better than I. What's that? growled a voice that was terribly gruff. Now, why do you say such ridiculous stuff? The rabbit looked down, and he saw a big bear. I'm the best of the beasts, said the bear, and so there. You're not, snapped the rabbit. I'm better than you. Pooh, the bear snorted. Again, I say, pooh. You talk mighty big, Mr. Rabbit, that's true. But how can you prove it? Just what can you do? Hmm, thought the rabbit. Now what can I do? He thought and he thought. Then finally he said, Mr. Bear, do you see these two ears on my head? My ears are so keen and so sharp and so fine, no ears in the world can hear further than mine. Hmm, the bear grunted. He looked at each ear. You say they are good, said the bear with a sneer, but how do I know just how far they can hear? I'll prove, said the rabbit, my ears are the best. You sit there and watch me, I'll prove it by test. Then he stiffened his ears. Yes, he stiffened his ears, till both stood up high and pointed straight up at the blue of the sky, he stretched his ears open as wide as he could. Shh! I'm listening, he said as he stood. He listened so hard that he had started to sweat, and the fur on his ears and his forehead got wet. For seven long minutes he stood, then he stirred, and he said to the bear, Do you know what I heard? Do you see that far mountain? It's ninety miles off. There's a fly on that mountain. I just heard him cough. Now the cough of a fly, sir, is quite hard to hear when it's ninety miles off, but I heard it quite clear. So you see, Brag the rabbit, it's perfectly true that my ears are the best, so I'm better than you. The bear, for a moment, just sulked as he sat, for he knew that his ears couldn't hear things like that. This rabbit, he thought, made a fool out of me. Now I've got to prove that I'm better than he. So he said to the rabbit, you hear pretty well. You can hear naughty miles. But how far can you smell? Wow. 
I'm the greatest of smellers, he bragged. See my nose? This nose on my face is the finest that grows. My nose can smell anything both far and near. With my nose, I can smell twice as far as you hear. You can't. You can't, snapped the rabbit. I can, growled the bear. And he stuck his big nose way up high in the air. He wiggled that nose and he snuffed and he snuffed. He waggled that nose and he whiffed and he whuffed. For more than ten minutes he snuffed and he snuffed. Then he said to the rabbit, I've smelled far enough. All right, said the rabbit. Come in now and tell exactly how far is the smell that you smell. Oh, I'm smelling a very far smell, said the bear. Oh, I wait past that fly on the mountain out there. I'm smelling past many great mountains beyond. Six hundred miles more to the edge of a pond. And way, way out there by the pond you can't see, it's a very small farm. On the farm is a tree. On the tree is a branch. On the branch is a nest, a very small nest where two tiny eggs rest. Two hummingbird eggs, only half an inch long. But my nose, said the bear, is so wonderfully strong. My nose is so good that I smell without fail that the egg on the left is a little bit stale, and that is a thing that no rabbit can do. So you see, the bear boasted, I'm better than you. My smell is so keen that it just can't be beat. What's that? called a voice. From way down by his feet, the bear and the rabbit looked down at the sound, and they saw an old worm crawling out of the ground. Now, boy, said the worm, you've been bragging a lot. You both think you're great, but I think you are not. You're not half as good as a fellow like me. You hear and you smell, but how far can you see? Now, I'm here to prove to you big boasting guys that your nose and your ears aren't as good as my eyes. And the little old worm cocked his head to one side and he opened his eyes and he opened them wide and they looked far away from a strange sort of stare as he and as if they were burning two holes in the air. The eyes of that worm almost popped from his head. He stared half an hour till his eyelids got red. That's enough, growled the bear. Tell the rabbit of me, how far did you look and just what did you see? Well, boys, the worm answered, that look that I took was a look that looked further than you'll ever look. I looked across the ocean way out to Japan, for I can see further than anyone can. There is no one on earth who has eyesight that's finer. I looked past Japan, then I looked across China. I looked across Egypt, then took a quick glance across the two countries of Holland and France. Then I looked across England and also Brazil, but I didn't stop there. I looked much further still. And I kept right on looking and looking until I looked round the world and right back to this hill. And I saw on this hill, since my eyesight so keen, the two biggest fools that have ever been seen. And the fools that I saw were none other than you, who seem to have nothing else better to do than sit here and argue who's better than who. Then, the old little worm gave his head a small jerk and he dived in his hole and went back to his work.
DMs. Well, who's the smarter one now, eh? That worm did a good job, you know, showing um, both that rabbit and that bear. Maybe who was smarter. Do you guys know people that brag sometimes? That tell you that uh, they're better than others? Well, we're all good at different things. And you remember that. And, you know, it's not nice to brag and to show off that way. It doesn't make people feel very good. It's kind of nice when people notice that you're good at stuff and tell you, hey, you're doing a good job. Good job. Um, that's, that's okay to have that. But bragging sometimes, not cool. Okay, well, that's all the time we have for Uncle Matt's bedtime story. I hope you enjoyed that story. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.